Hey guys, it's Banu from Android Ola. And if you guys recall, I made a Galaxy S5 port video back in 2014. So now that the Galaxy S6 is out, we have got a Galaxy S6 port for the Note 3. So this ROM is currently in the alpha stage and I want to give a huge shout out to Dark Lord for making uh, this amazing ROM. So be sure to give him a huge thumbs up and feel free to donate to him. So this ROM has all the elements of the Galaxy S6. So before we begin, first you need to go to the download section and you need to download the ROM. So there are three links given here. So I would recommend you to use a mega link to download the ROM. So that will take you to this page where you can easily download the ROM. So once you have downloaded the ROM, you need to download some additional fixes uh, that will improve the performance of the ROM. So the developer will be adding extra extra fixes in the future. So be in the lookout for that in this reserved section so there are a few of these uh, fixes i will show you guys how to do those uh, in my video so you need to download all of these uh, extra files so that uh, there won't be any crashes so once that is done you need to turn off your device and put it into recovery and before you close the thread, don't forget to hit the thanks button given right here. In order to put your device into the recovery mode, first hold the up volume power and the home button at the same time. So once that's done, you will see a blue color message saying recovery booting. In order to install this ROM, you need to have the latest version of Phil's recovery. So if you are using twerp, you need to install Fails right now. So I already made a video on that previously, so I'll leave a link for that also in the, in the description so you guys can check it out. So once you have Fails recovery, feel free to go ahead and do a complete backup. So once the backup is complete, then you need to go to wipe and do a clean wipe. This will wipe everything. Once that is done, you need to go to install zip, choose zip from SD if you have in your internal or SD1 if you have in your external and then you need to select the ROM. So once you hit on install, it will load up the Aroma installer. So here you need to select English and hit on next. Then you need to hit on uh, the device model. So for me it's the N9005. And then you need to hit on next so once that's done you can select the kernel and you can select the extra themes and mods and as the camera you can easily select the note 4 camera so once that's done hit next and you can check out the change log here and hit on next and now the rom is being installed just give it uh, around five minutes to install So now the installation is complete. Now hit on next and don't uh, reboot into your device because you need to apply the fixes. So just don't tick on that and just hit on finish. Now you need to go back to wherever you have stored the fixes and you need to select them. So first I'll be selecting the SD card uh, fix. So just install that. So once that has been installed, you need to install a custom kernel so that the apps won't be crashing. So for this, you can uh, download and install a custom kernel. I'll leave a few of the custom kernel links in the description so you can download whatever you like and install them. So now your device will reboot. Just give it a few minutes to reboot. The initial boot is usually longer, so don't panic, just give it 10 to 20 minutes.
now we have been booted into the device so now we see some uh, things in some other language so first let me quickly select English all right English United States so once that's done I have quickly connected to my Wi-Fi and in this diagnostic data section just untick that and then hit on agree this will uh, solve your signal issues because if you tick on that there might be uh, signal issues so just untick that and just enter your name and hit on done then next next and then you can skip the Samsung ac account section or you can set it up so I'll be setting all of these stuff later for now I'll be skipping all of these settings and that's it so the installation is now complete and we are now booted into the ROM so as you see the device looks exactly like the Galaxy S6 that's because we have the exact launcher of the Galaxy S6 and the exact uh, UI of the S6 the entire thing has been ported moving on to the settings panel we see that the device is indeed running Android 5.0.2 Lollipop and this has the model number of the Galaxy S6 Edge meaning this has been ported from the Galaxy S6 Edge so we also have the Lollipop game in here so you can enjoy that so now let me quickly show you guys how to apply the other fixes so for this first of all you need to head on over to the settings and then you need to go to motion and gestures here you need to disable all the features because right now if you enable them you will get crashes again next you need to go to festival effects and disable that then lock screen and security you need to uh, select none for the unlock effect because if you use the unlock effect the system UI will crash so do those small fixes and your device will be uh, perfect in a way so also you need to do a small change to the camera if not it will be crashing as you see we have the exact camera UI of the Galaxy S6 here uh, we even have we even have the pro cam mode here so in, in order to make it work you need to go to the settings and disable the shutter sound so once that is done the device camera will function perfectly so now let's have a look at some of the UI elements so this is the dialer this is the messaging app and we have the same app drawer and same effects of the Galaxy S6 we even have the same pre-installed applications here so the developer has done a pretty good job and the ROM feels pretty smooth for an alpha. Since this ROM has been ported from the Galaxy S6 Edge, we even have the Edge screen functionality. Even People Edge is there and it is working. Even though the, the Note 3 doesn't have an Edge, it's still working. So you can use the tip of the Edge to use that. So the developer has done a pretty amazing job with that. We also have the double tap to open the camera feature on this. So even when your device is locked, as soon as you double tap the home button, the camera will launch. So all the other features are working on the device once you flash the uh, custom kernel and apply the small fixes that I have shown. This ROM also has the team store that is built on the Galaxy S6 so we ha even have a link for the store so we can easily download themes and apply them so let me quickly show you guys how to apply one so i'll be applying the space theme so i hit on download and then just give it a few seconds to install so once the installation is complete the device will entirely change the notification panel will have a different effect the sounds will have a different effect and even the icons will be completely different so that's definitely a welcome change and uh, for all of you that uh, didn't like the look of touches now you can completely change it so this is pretty cool
so i have been using this rom for around one day and uh, i've been enjoying it quite a bit so if you have the galaxy note 3 n9005 or any other compatible version just feel free to install this rom and try it out because this rom is amazing and this rom is currently one of the must have roms for your note 3 well guys, that's pretty much it when it comes to the installation process of Dark Lords Galaxy S6 port for the Galaxy Note 3. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to smack the like button and the subscribe button down below. Stay tuned to AndroidAll.com for all the latest from the tech world. And in case you haven't checked it, I already made a hands-on video with the Galaxy S6 and the Galaxy S6 Edge. So I'll leave a link for that in the description box below. So until I see you guys in my next video, this is Banu signing out.